Welcome back to another episode of Storytime with Dr. Brown, diving in back again to the history of medicine, where we've come from and where we're going. Today, we're gonna to talk about anatomy, and in particular, one physician, Andreas Vesalius of Brothels. He was really regarded as the first teacher of anatomy from natural observations and conducted many anatomical demonstrations to other physicians on human bodies while a professor of surgery and anatomy in Brussels, the time period of 1537 to 1543. Highly successful, these were attended by medical students, physicians, interested civic officials, sculptors, and even artists. First to break with the 1400 year old anatomical text, Vesalius published the Tubulae Anatomicae Sex in 1538, and in 1543, the monumental De Humane Corpus Fabrica. Though reviled and ridiculed by his previous physicians, the validity of Vesalius' work soon overcame detractors and they became classics in medieval literature. History is about breaks. It's about shifts. And there are pivotal points in medicine where shifts occur, whether it be a, something that rocks the foundation, uh, some new discovery, but it gives rise and it identifies those who are the pioneers. It took Andreas Vesalius only five years to reduce the foundation of uh, medieval medicine's uh, main uh, canon and to raise the study of human anatomy to a science based upon the rock of direct observation. Rosillus had seen the errors that previous physicians had been simply replicating time and time again. It did cause a lot of strife and uh, eventually his uh, detractors uh, were forced to uh, uh, concede to his uh, methodology based on all of the anatomical demonstrations that he was performing in large groups. The purpose of this was, as you can see here, him standing over a body that he is dissecting and all, everything is done with observation that he has made, but then sharing it with the other colleagues. And that's a very important part of what medicine and medical education is. It's passing the knowledge from generation to generation, but arriving at an observation that everyone can be in concordance with. It strikes a chord that when you teach and everybody observes that there is a greater knowledge. At this same time, there were professional artists that had played important roles in the early development of anatomy. In particular, Leonardo da Vinci. Sculpting and figure painting of the truly great artists were based quite solidly on dissection and on natural observation. The attendance of artists and sculptors at dissection demonstrations became commonplace in the 16th century. Andreas Vesalis of Brussels has been called the first man of modern science. Certainly he was the first physician to break openly with tradition, to study anatomy and to write of it directly from observation. However, he was not the only one. He had other contemporaries following at the same time, all peers in discovery and the description of anatomic structures. So the take home from this is that there will always be change, that there will always be breaks, just as it was for Galileo and that the sun was not the center of our, our universe. So was it in medicine. You've seen that consistently there have been opportunities to advance our knowledge based on observation, a scientific method, and it's countless times where it's been applied and shared and passed down from generation to generation, which is why it's so important to appreciate the genealogy and why it's so important to tell these stories and share them, learn from them, keep coming back to them. I would encourage anyone who is interested in science and medicine that reading these history lessons uh, really can give us a sense of uh, where we need to get back to. And that concludes story time with Dr. Brown. Come join us for the next episode. 
And if you happen to find any of this interesting, or more importantly, if you want to collaborate, check out the link below so that you can send us your comments, any stories you may have, anything. You know, we're happy to entertain it. And uh, this is really about us going on a journey together.